okay. Ku, Bantel one. Ok. Jebio. Ok. Jebio. Bantel one. Jonke. Jonke. Bantel one. Jebio. Bantel one. Jonke. Jebio. Ok. Jonke. Ok. Ok. Bantel one. Jonke. centers. Now they will surely surrender. Now that we are rid of the Tlaxcala, let us rid ourselves of these Aztec taskmasters as well. Agreed. None shall challenge the will of Montezuma and the Aztec Empire. But wait, what is this that approaches? I claim these lands and all the gold it bears in the name of Ferdinand of Spain. Until all of the gold is brought to me, I shall not return home. And to prove it, I am sinking my ships. Who is this man who has arrived? Could it be that the god Quetzalcoatl has returned? The first messengers to arrive in Tenochtitlan told of mountains or towers that floated on the sea. Each story told to Montezuma was more fantastic than the last. They could fire stone balls, shooting sparks and raining fire that could crack open weapons. Huge deer with no antlers carried these gods on their backs. Their swords were iron, their bows were iron, their shields were iron, their clothes were iron. Surely this was the return of Quetzalcoatl. Montezuma heard these reports with growing alarm as he shifted nervously on the Iquipali, his legless throne. He ordered expensive gifts to be sent to the new arrivals in the hopes that Quetzalcoatl would spare Montezuma when the feathered serpent came to Tenochtitlan. He has come back, Montezuma whispered to me. He seeks his place on the throne, for that is what he promised when he departed. I held my weapons tightly but said nothing. How could I challenge the word of our emperor? So says Cuauhtémoc, jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. <laughs> 